Hey, what's up, everybody? Comic Quarter 210 coming right back at you with another comic haul. But this is a pretty special one. This is a super duper mega deluxe comic book haul for you guys to check out. I happened to go last Saturday to Corpus with a few friends and uh, came across a small shop that had some books I picked up. And then Sunday, the next day, I was in New Braunfels and just found a small, not big, it was like a little Comic Con in City Hall. And I picked up a lot of fillers and some good books, a couple keys as well. And then this past Saturday, I went to the flea market and picked up another good amount of books. And there's a lot for you guys to check out here. I know you're going to love it. And I was also going to say, this past Saturday as well, I got to see the early um early access i guess you could say shazam and that movie was so fucking good like i mean everyone has their different opinions but i'm honestly gonna say it's probably gonna be on my top five favorite superhero movies like it's so so good but anyways like let's let's get into the reason why you're really here uh start off oh another thing these books might be out of order but You'll get the point. So we're going to start with the Uncanny X-Men 114. Then we got 141. Days of Future's Past story. I do happen to have 142 as well somewhere in my collection. But I picked this one up for only three bucks, guys. This was at that... Uh, little comic con i was telling you about dudes were selling books for like super cheap super cheap little big storylines because i mean that i think that book goes for like what 20 bucks and then we got 159 a filler for my x-men stories Swamp Thing, the Alan Moore Swamp Thing, number 25. Then number 38, second appearance of John Constantine. I don't have his first appearance. Um, eventually I'll pick it up, but I do feel like that's a book that's like not, um, what can I say? I feel like it's way too overpriced for what it is. And this one, another Swamp Thing, but I really, really do love this cover. It sticks out to me for some reason. We got number 57. I really, really like this one. Again, by Alan Moore. And this, I picked these, the this story, this four-part story yesterday. Um, pretty, it's a pretty big book to have Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe number one I picked this one up yesterday the whole run part two part three Then a really good one, part four, The Punisher. Of course, I got some Thors, just fillers. Got 143. It's got some damage up the top. 48, The Wrecker, one seventy three, 
got 190. Pretty cool cover with Odin in the back. And I think that's all I got for my Thors. Uh, I picked this one up just because I've always liked the Flash and the Green Lantern team ups, and it got 131 of the Flash series. Really great cover. I only picked this one up for four bucks at that little Comic Con I was telling you guys about. And these, I've been really hot for these lately. Um, these old first series of the Teen Titans. You got number 24, the original Teen Titans. I really like this cover. Then we got 28. Aqualad giving it to Robin. And then I got an Aquaman. This one, this one I picked up super cheap. I mean, it has a lot of spine ticks, but for three bucks, Silver Age Aquaman title. Couldn't pass it up. Number 41. Let's see all the spine ticks. And these right here. These are quite a few Superman. These I got Sunday, yesterday, flea market from this guy. And he sold these really good price. Got the Superman 173 with Brainiac, Lex Luthor. Clean copy. So Legion Cameo is two, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is like 64. 1964 and this one I really like this cover 201 really good looking cover right there and this one this is another one that just saw oh man this one was so beautiful got 205 really love how the colors just stick out it's got a stain, stain on the top spine right at the DC logo, if you can see it. A little stain, but a really, really clean copy. Oof. Really nice. These are more Bronze Age, but I really like the covers of these. Got 406. Superman 406. this one I like this one just because how the colors the black and the dark colors on this are just so clean it's not faded out or anything we got 409 really really nice then of course we got Wonder Woman I picked up all these Wonder Womans except maybe the last two, but these first four, these are all from that little con. Got these super cheap. Started out with the 126 Wonder Woman. A lot of spine ticks. But I only paid five bucks for this Silver Age Wonder Woman complete. It's not bad. A little baby Wonder Woman. Sorry guys, if you're hearing noises and stuff, that's my husky right here on the floor. He gets jealous when I start talking. I gotta give him all the attention. He gets a little angry. Then this one, really nice. 161. Paid 20 bucks for this. Graded at a 8.0. Got this from a guy I've been getting comics from from for like five years. He's a big key silver age, bronze age seller, collector. That's a lot of good stuff. It gives me some great prices. Really nice. That old school Wonder Woman in the skirt. And this was a really nice one too. 164. Clean copy. Only paid eight bucks for this one. Nice.
then we got 169 nice very very nice and this is one of the books I picked up in Corpus Wonder Woman 172 a really really beautiful beautiful cover with Superman these Adam Hughes are like very hard to find and they're they're pretty pricey the guy I got this from only charged me six bucks I mean usually when I come across these Adam Hughes Wonder Woman's they want more than ten bucks I've seen some go for eight but like I said this is a really great looking cover with Superman on it and this is a Wonder Woman I've been wanting for a while finally got it for three bucks at that little con the blackest night number three variant where she goes as Starfire Blackest Night, a really great story if you've never read it by DC. This one, only four. I paid four bucks for this one, but really, really cool cover. You got the Ultimate Wolverine versus Hulk, number three, the variant. Then we got the Marvel Comics Presents Weapon X. Really great cover as well. I like that. And this one, it, it says 17, but I picked it up for 7. Uh, I don't know. I just love the cover because I like dinosaurs or lizards, giant monsters, you know, like Godzilla and all that. This is the War Stories 137. It says 17, but I only paid 7. I really, really just saw this cover and I was like, oh, I need this. Like, I really, really like it. And then this one, I only paid 4 four bucks. Number 27 of the Atom. A filler. I got lots of other Atom stories in my collection. These are really nice looking books. And this one, I've been wanting this one for a while, but it's like usually a sixty to eighty dollar book. I got this from that little con. The guy had this priced at sixty five dollars, and I paid fifteen dollars because it was Sunday and it was already getting ready to close. I don't know if he got desperate. Or he just wanted to be a cool guy and just say, "Oh, here you go. Just I'll be cool with you. Take it." This is the Punisher kills the Marvel Universe. This is such a good story. If you never read it, had it marked for 65 bucks, only paid 15. He gave me a stupid deal. He was a real nice guy as well. A really, really sweet guy. And of course, got Tells of Suspense 85. I think I only paid three bucks. Another filler for uh, my stories of Tells of Suspense. I just really love these covers. And then you got number 56 of Iron Man. Another filler for my Iron Man run. Great looking cover. And now, I think, yeah, we're going to be jumping into my Batman. Because I'm a huge Batman fan. Who isn't, right? Uh, I got this one. This is one I've been looking for for a while. They had it marked for twenty five. I got them. I got them. Got them talked down the number uh, to for ten bucks. The Batman and Darkest Night story. It's pretty much a what if, where Batman becomes Green Lantern. Now these right here, I'm getting some really nice. Batman books. Got Batman 173. First appearance of the Eraser. Really good looking cover. 190, a Silver Age appearance of the Penguin. If you could see, there's a little tear right here on the front page. 
But I only paid uh, eight dollars for this. It's usually, I think it's like going for like twenty to forty dollars. But it's a really nice book. Then this one I picked up from Corpus. Uh, we all know what this is gonna be. Bat uh, Batman Adventures number twelve. First appearance of Harley Quinn. This is probably a 9.0. Has a few spine ticks right here. And then my last one, I got this from that con for 140 bucks. Batman 155, first Silver Age appearance of the Penguin. It's a very low grade. It was graded at 4.5, but it's complete it's together few a little uh little small tear right here on the top staple but i'm happy with it really beautiful and that's gonna be it guys um like i said super mega haul um i really appreciate checking out what i got been liking all the messages subscribers and i really appreciate it and i really appreciate what you guys do and there's a lot of people i watch that man they're just killing it at these comic book finds like man so good but um thanks for checking out what i got and hopefully in another week or two i'll have some more books for you so peace out y'all